Hello Virgos. Watch out, watch out. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm just cleansing space, just cleansing my space. Hello, welcome Virgos. We're going to be doing your um, lovely Valentine's love reading. We're just going to take a quick look at your person's thoughts and feelings about you. Um, I'm going to try and keep this as quick as I can because I'm trying to get through everybody's signs today. Um, so if you're a returning subscriber, it's so nice to have you here. Welcome back. I love you. Um, if you're new here, you're very welcome. If you're a cross watcher, you're also very welcome. Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed and it's not going to resonate with everybody because this is a general reading. So Virgos, let's look at your person. Um, Virgo, oh, that was a really quick shuffle. The shuffles have been quick today. Wow, okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, right. So, we're starting off here. We've got four of pentacles. Your person is very guarded, very protective of themselves right now. Um, they are completely... Um, I feel like this this is an energy of someone who's shutting down or closing down. So they could be quiet right now. Um, I'm not quite sure what's happened, why this has come out. So I'll clarify that in a second. Look, they're heartbroken. Absolutely devastated here. Your person, my Virgos, is currently in heartbreak energy. Um, Wow, we've got justice as well. So really strong energy with this one. There could have been some there could have been some breakup here. Somebody has broken up. Somebody has um somebody has taken a choice here. Someone has taken a choice here and um I mean this could be your energy as well because you know um sometimes you mirror your person. Um very often we think that somebody doesn't care about us when actually they do they care about us a lot um and you know any time that you're taking a decision to walk away from somebody um it, that still hurts you know it doesn't matter who's doing the walking it's going to hurt both of you so this could be for both of you here i just want i do just want to clarify that four of pentacles though why is virgo's person so guarded please why is person uh, virgo's person so guarded Okay, so that was, again, a very quick shuffle. I've had these cards sort of on charge, so they're, they're coming out quite quickly at the minute. Mm, this person is coming for you. Look at this. I mean, I can't, I, I can't make it up. Um, I can't make it any clearer than this. This knight, uh, knight of wands hit charging in. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you're male, female, if your person is male, female, it doesn't matter. This is a charging energy. We've also got the world card here as well. So your person could be at a distance from you, um, but it's, it's wanting to have a new beginning here, a new cycle. Let's see um, this justice energy. for. Ooh, that's too many cards. That's too many cards, please, spirit, not so many. Um, clarify the justice energy for Virgo's person, please. Clarify justice energy for Virgo's person. Okay, we've got... Ooh. Okay, this is someone that wanted to have victory with you. Um, they wanted to have a second chance here. They wanted to have, um, you know, a new beginning with you or another opportunity with you with this justice energy. Um, but now I feel like, and I'm, I'm again, I'm not sure what's happened here. I'll clarify that in a second. Um, but they're watching, they're waiting. Okay. I feel like they're, they're waiting for you. They could be waiting for the second chance here because they want to have success and victory with you here. What happened, um, in this connection, please? What happened in this connection? Why is happened here oh okay transformation something has changed here um in the dynamic something has changed or shifted in this energy um and i feel like your person has been kind of left high and dry here but you could also be feeling that exact same um feeling here um 
yeah, look, this is karmic. This could be a karmic partner um, or clearing out karma. Mm, yeah, as I say that, I'm reminded this morning I did the twin flame reading um, and the emphasis in that reading was on clearing out karma. So, I mean, that could be because we've got the energy of this full moon coming in this week. Um, but it is definitely... Um, Definitely karmic energy here. What else, please, about Virgo and their person, please? Uh, that was a quick shuffle. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody here is about to have some success, though. Somebody is about to, um, you know, you know, they're, they're feeling this could be you here, holding on to your stability, um, holding on to your abundance, feeling quite secure, feeling good about yourself here with this Nine of Pentacles. Um, so, mm, okay, what action will Virgo's person take next, please? Oh my gosh, what action will Virgo's person take next, please? Oh, dear, 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 dear. Okay, so we have Knight of Cups energy. They want to offer you their love. Um, they want to come in with an offer here for you. Um, so if you're currently not talking, I would um, I would say here that this person is coming back towards you. We've also then, we've got four of swords. This person may well give up. Um, they may well just disappear and you, you never get to have that opportunity um, with them. Um, I feel like this is very much... Uh, in the balance right now with that justice energy. Oh my gosh, I'm tearing up here. Somebody, somebody is feeling very emotional about this, about this connection. It's like there's that sensation of tearing up, but there's no tears. Um, that could be for somebody here. Somebody is also holding a cat or they have a cat nearby them. I can see a cat here. Um, mm. I feel like this could be both of you. You could be mirroring this energy. You both kind of want this. But maybe one person wants it more than the other. Um, because we have stuck energy. You're now at a point here where there's stagnancy. There's stuck energy. Oh my gosh. You could have just had an argument with this person. You could have just literally right before watching this reading or you know in the last couple of days here you could have um had this uh had this happen um so let's see what's going to happen this week here with you and your person what's going to happen with virgo and their person please this week oh my gosh Okay, so you're coming into your power here. We've got um, your card. We have Hermit Energy. A lot of silence here. I'm not seeing any contact. I'm seeing a lot of conflict though. Okay, so there could be that there's conflict happening behind the scenes um, with this person. Um, you could be kind of trying to wrestle this, trying, you know, make, trying to uh, make sense of this in your mind as well. I feel like your person um, is doing the same thing here. But look, it's a very powerful, kind of ferocious energy. You've got people fighting a dragon here, okay? It's not easy. Um, dragons are bigger <laughs> um, and they breathe fire and they're very, um, uh, you know, uh, very powerful. And you, you know, you don't really want to be poking the dragon here. But look, I feel like, so this could have been quite antagonistic. Um, almost as though, uh, maybe not done it on purpose, but you could have felt those triggers within yourself, within, um, you know, from your person and vice versa. I do get such a dual energy here. I mean, I'm just saying with all the twin flame readings, a lot of the twin flames that I, um, work with, they do tend to be Virgos. Um, and it's just a general statement there. I'm just I'm not saying every single Virgo has a twin flame or was involved with a twin flame. Just that there, there seems to be a majority, um, you know, with, with the people that I work with in their connections. Um, yeah. 
So I'm just putting that out there. So check out your twin flame reading today as well. I'll, I'll post it in the description. So you've got with this person as well this week, Eight of Pentacles. You could be throwing yourself into work, into your hobbies, into your crafts here. I feel like your person is probably doing the same thing. You know, trying to keep themselves distracted, don't really want to be um, thinking about this. They're working hard on something. I feel as though this person has something new here that they're um, uh, that they're focusing their attention on. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles, please. Look at this. Okay, so they're keeping their eye on you. They're keeping their eye on you here with this um, Page of Swords um, and this Six of Cups here. So. Um, the, it's a very silent, quiet energy. I don't think you're going to be um, talking to one another again soon. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, you know, maybe not this week. Um, I'm just going to get another deck here and see what these cards have to say about long term because they're kind of, I want to see if this is going to, you know, if this is one of those situations where it's worth kind of hanging on to or if it's worth um just letting go now because the earlier you can let it go sometimes it's you know it's easier um you may well have made up your mind already about this person um you know how uh you know i feel like that there is a, a from you i'm getting a finality like in your mind this is done um this is finished this is over um but i feel like in your emotions Oh, you know, it's very, this is why we have five of ones. We've got conflict energy here. You, it is a head versus heart energy. Um, the dragon would represent the emotions. Um, and all of these people here attacking the dragon are the voices, the different sort of, the voices of reason, if you like. But this dragon is still coming nonetheless. So let's see. Angels, guides, spirits, ancestors, source energy. Please let my Virgos know here what to do about this person, um, whether they need to hang on to this connection. Okay, so we've got walking away. Oh my gosh, now this is confusing because we have two of swords and we've got ace of wands. Okay, so this is a very defeatist energy here with this Eight of Cups. Maybe feeling like nothing else can be done here. Um, you know, you've done everything you possibly can in this situation. Um, and it it's very much that like I can't do anything else. I've got nothing else that I can do. Um, I do feel there's a lot of hurts coming through here. There's a sense of betrayal. Um, and um, it's it's definitely this walking away energy. But then you see, we have two of swords, which is decision. It's a choice. You do still have a choice here. Um, and I feel as though this is going to be uh, an energy that's hanging around you for a while. Um, let's just clarify what the choice is. You know, what is this two of swords? Oh. <sighs> What is this Two of Swords for Virgo, please? What is this Two of Swords about for Virgo, please? Ooh. Oh my gosh, look at this. You've got two choices. Oh, look. I feel like I can see here now why you're so conflicted about this person. Because you feel in order to come towards them, you have to destroy everything. That, you know, there's, you're going to have to um, change your whole life. You're going to have to turn things upside down here. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to look at the blocks here, what's blocking your connection, because I'm curious here. Um, you've got here then, the you know, this is your other option, is this Queen of Cups energy, the love, the, the fantasy. Um, Queen of Cups is, you know, beautiful energy. You know, this it's not gender specific. Um, it's about the energy that this card represents. So this is where your heart is. This is where you have your peace. Um, this is where you kind of, um, 
you could you could be feeling like this is where I belong really or this is where I want to be but there's so much uncertainty here that this is why we have this conflict this inner conflict so yeah you know that there is a choice here in order to come towards this person or for this person to come towards you yeah okay because then you see that the outcome just here you have ace of wands you're walking you could be walking to a brand new beginning whichever whichever option you choose here you're going to have a new start there's a new beginning here for you um mm, let's let's see so i mean that it's a very creative energy it is all about creativity with that ace of wands there um so you could be getting some new ideas um getting some inspiration what direction to go in um so you know i i kind of feel as though this two of swords this decision it's going to be hanging on to you for a while it's right in the middle to me it doesn't feel like it's disappeared um and it really at the moment you're caught between this walking away to to have a new beginning um but you're kind of skipping over making the choice here i feel um and this could also be what your person is doing so it, it, this is why it's that sense here of hanging on what are the obstacles with virgo and their person please what are the obstacles for virgo and their person <laughs> oh no okay right so there's, there's some quite big ones here. You could be dealing with another person. They could be dealing with another person. We've got this Queen of Swords energy here. You could be feeling right now as though you're, you know, you've learned some truth here about your person and you don't like it. Or they've learned something about you and they don't like it. Um, so it's very harsh. This Queen of Swords, you know, she's ready to fight. She's ready, you know, you could be feeling here like um, your person is just in this, energy of fighting um you know wanting to argue um but i feel i need to say here this person is speaking their truth if you feel like if you if you're doubting them um they are speaking their truth here and as i'm saying that i can hear people kind of shouting here like in my head i'm being truthful too so i feel like there's a lot of talking here and not a lot of listening <laughs> you could be talking at one another um, rather than, you know, uh, stopping and listening. Okay, so you also then have with this the Ace of Pentacles. Um, so finances could be in the way. This is a block with the connection. I'm also hearing as I hold this where to live. Um, so it could be with this energy that that is a big thing here. You know, um, it's the question of where do you live? So you could well be at a distance of one another because you've got Six of Swords here, which is a card of travel. Um, it can be, it, it's a work energy as well. You're traveling for work. So this could be why the where to live and the finance and all of these things are coming into play. Um, because, you know, it's a, it's a tough job here trying to work out um, you know all of these logistics um so we do feel as though it is a logistical thing at the moment i'm hearing logistical nightmare this is a nightmare um oh no see that tower is catching my eye it's like so strongly i feel like there is gonna be i mean either way here there is that either the tower has already happened or you feel like there's more of a tower to come you could be worrying here or focusing on the negatives um regarding this connection um instead of seeing all of the positives here with this queen of cups i think energetically you have an awareness here which one is um because i feel like the queen of cups comes with all of these obstacles you know the love the true love choice here comes with the obstacles um if you um if you choose the tower um you know, which is basically sabotaging this connection, you're self-sabotaging, they're self-sabotaging. It's a mutual energy here with the, this um, right here. Somebody's got to break, somebody's got to, you know, give something, um, you know, break something apart here. 
Okay, let's see what you can expect next from your person. We'll just do that quickly. What can Virgo expect from, did I ask that one already? Yeah, no, very silent, wasn't it? So let's just see here what the, if they'll give me a long term, they might not give me a long term, but what should your action be right now? Um, if Virgos want to heal this connection, what should their action be, please? Okay. Right, so with this, you have this energy of don't worry, improvements are happening. This is a, you know, nine of cups energy, which, you know, it can be wish fulfillment. It's a, it's a progress. It's a journey. It's letting you know that this isn't going to transform overnight and you're very good at being patient. Um, so, you know, th this will, um, this will work out as it's supposed to here. So you, you are kind of, uh you are kind of underway here there's something here about crossing paths i've just heard this like crossing paths so you if you live for those of you who live close to your person or live in maybe the same city you could find yourself crossing paths with this person um you know uh at some point here you have hierophant energy now this is very much about spiritual learning concentrate on your spiritual growth here with this card um you know when we talk about spiritual lessons very often we're just talking about um you know your emotions processing your emotions being in your allow yourself to feel um, i'm feeling here you do need to allow yourself time to refill your emotions um and they're, they're letting you know here that this again this is a long-term energy um so i don't feel as though it's going to just disappear overnight it's a spiritual you know evolution here so concentrate on you concentrate on your spiritual growth here um it can also point here to legal matters. So you could have something that you need to take care of, um, you know, that you need to put your concentration and your attention on right now. If this is all about, um, gosh, they, they want to say here the general public. Some, so some of you, you could be, um, uh, you know, customer facing or something to do with the general public. Um, so they want you to kind of put some attention um, in that direction. You've here, see, this is you coming into your energy, the King of Pentacles as well. So this is that grounded, stable energy here. The advice is, um, oh, okay. Sorry, they're diverting my attention here to the card, the, the word arrogance. I feel like that is to do with um, the ego. Ooh, okay. Okay. So let me just clarify that one there for you. King of Pentacles, please. Why is the King of Pentacles an action? Why is the King of Pentacles an action? Hermit's energy. Yeah, the Hermit's again, you, twice. You come out twice here. So they want you to take this action. Um, <laughs> you know, they want me to go away. Oh my gosh, yeah, look, it could well be Twin Flames. Look, you've got four of wands. So this could be about releasing the ego. That's why you need this um, spiritual aspect here. Um, and I will say this just quickly. Um, you know, the, very often we... When you're dealing with a twin flame, you it, it's very easy to blame the other person um, for things that go wrong in the connection. Very, very easy. Um, because you get triggered. We all get triggered. You get triggered. Your person gets triggered. And it's very easy to let things blow out of proportion very quickly. And it seems kind of out of character. You may feel as though you're behaving out of character when, you know, this energy is around you. And then... You kind of think, right, well, I hate my person then. Um, but then, you know, the next day uh, or even a few hours later, you could be feeling that energy again. So they want you to take this um, this action as well. There was some, I mean, definitely the Twin Flame reading today had a big emphasis on clearing out karmic energy. And it's actually come out in your reading here as an advice as well. So there's with this full moon energy i know it's like it's pretty crazy at the moment um 
so I mean, it's only going to get worse as the week goes on um so yeah look at uh you know everybody's taking taking a pause here you know you could have just gone into separation with your person you could just be arguing you could just be having a difficult time here um but it feels like there's a need to retreat at this time um for your benefit and for their benefit there's this need to retreat um so oh my gosh right Virgos, i will leave it there because i've waffled on uh, a lot longer than i intended to um <laughs> thank you so much for watching till the end um subscribe like this video i really appreciate it it helps me tune in with your energy so um that's lovely i will see you guys next week and if you want you can check out that 18 plus reading that i've got on my channel um it's a pick a card reading um i'm going to be doing more pick a card readings um and with that it's there it's 18 overs okay grab a glass of wine get yourself comfy pick a card let's see let's have a look at your person's late night thoughts about you um very exciting okay then my lovelies i'm sending you lots of healing lots of love lots of light lots of positive vibes out to you healing energies wherever you might need them let's take away some of that negative okay we don't need that you got a lot to get on with you got enough on your plate you don't need any extra from people okay um and as always lots of love and abundance for you guys um i love you take care i will see you next time